welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk you through setting up an event inside of Movie Booth Cloud. To get started, I'm going to create the Create Event. I'll click that button, or I can also locate that under Events on the left-hand side, Create New. From there, I will be given a list of available options. These will vary depending on um, your package. For this example, I'm going to do a burst GIF. So I'll click that, and then I need to give it a name, demo. And then you can set your dates. We'll just go with the defaults. We can play with the uh, countdown dur duration, how long it's reviewed afterwards, how many photos, and how fast um, each of the photos will be taken. All of these are editable after um, the event is created. Here we can select um, different types of camera modes. Standard is the uh, standard iPad aspect ratio, which is 3-4 in portrait and 4-3 in landscape. DSLR will, will um, replicate a DSLR's aspect of 2-3 in portrait or 3-2 in landscape. And then a square will be a one-to-one -one aspect. This I'm going to keep standard. Now I can uh, specify the number of uh, seconds that the final burst will last. We'll make it two, giving me uh, 29 frames and 14 and a half uh, frames per second. After that, you're given a few different types of layouts. We're going to choose the 400 by 600 layout portrait. Um, this will give us a portrait layout that's um, reasonably sized for the GIF for, or for the boomerang format. Here we can uh, customize the colors of our def the default colors of our screen, the text on the screen. We can uh, change the uh, welcome text, the instruction text. We have some uh, tokens here that allow us to that will be uh, replaced, such as photo count will be replaced with we're going to take 15 photos very fast in this case, and we're going to create a two second animation. We can also adjust the uh, share toolbar colors, um, again using the uh, color sliders. And this is on the um, review screen and the share screen that this will affect. Lastly, we can um, turn on and off all of the sharing options we'd like. Um, we can turn on and off our, our email. We can use um, MMS, which is our text messaging, Facebook, Twitter. If this was a printable um, format uh, photograph, then I would also have a print option up here, and then I could uh, download Mobi Print on my tablet and um, print using the uh, software. Once we've completed this, um, we'll just go ahead and make uh, this a text messaging only. And I'll just go ahead and click Create Event. Now it's actually brought me into the event edit screen. So if I bounce back out one layer, I can go see the uh, details. So this is giving me all my metrics for the event. I can find um, my gallery link. Um, I can also manage all of the uh, files that have been uploaded into the system so far. Um, if you want, need to make some changes, which more than likely you're gonna to wanna to go in and customize your screens and your layout, you'll want to click Edit Event, and then you're gonna choose your um, experience. We're working on bringing multiple experiences. It's not ready yet, um, but currently it's just the single, so we're going to select Burst. And then here are all of our settings again we can change, countdowns, um, durations. We can even actually turn on a slideshow at the end. And here I can personalize my um, text messaging. And I can also edit like phone number and stuff here. We've got all of our GIF settings for the boomerang so we can tweak stuff. Maybe we want this to be faster and go 150 milliseconds. And again, we can change all of our toolbar settings. Let's save that. Now, one of the most important things, obviously, is the final composite image. We'll use the uh, edit layout for that. Um, we've just got a quick little generic here. We probably don't want that. We'll go ahead and go with 600, 400. And we can actually adjust the uh, session photos here. We're going to just go ahead and fill the whole thing. We'll save that. And then um, I'd like to add a graphic also with, um, with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a GIF overlay. And now I can kind of see where that is sized in there. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And there it is. So that's now available. Um, if we needed to switch quickly, we got a bunch of different ones we can choose from here. And those will um, swap out. Um, it should give you a, uh, a whole screen you know, prompt and explain what it is. And then let you know that um, any graphics, any custom settings will be lost once you uh, click Use Layout. Next, we'll move along to the screens. Um, we can again customize each of the screens. By default, it's going to have a live view on for you and um, default text. We have some screens we like here, so we're going to do a screen overlay. Um, and then we can, um, if we'd like, change the size of the, the actual um, photo for the live view. We can use relative and adjust um, using padding, and it will work on centering all that for us. You see, I kind of a little high on the top, so maybe we'll go to three. Even it just doesn't want to be any. And then we also can go to a fixed mode, which we can actually explicitly tell it exactly where we'd like everything to be. So we can adjust this top. You um, can see 69 is not really what we want. And we can kind of play with that until we get that honed in to where we would like it to be. We can also turn it off if we'd like. Um, from there, we'll click Save. And we'll upload our graphic, and then everything will be where we want it to. And then we can move along to our um, instructions. Again, we can customize the text. We can kind of see an updated... Um, a substitution of what the text will look like. We can also see the text here. We can come in if we just want to, you know, use it inside of here as our, our colors. Um, we can save that if we want. So we'll make that a green with black text. Um, same thing again here. We can do um, overlays, backgrounds again, or we can do full screen on the uh, sessions. So this is what they'll be seeing with the countdown as they're getting ready to take their photo. And then we have the review screen, and this is where it's going to display the final, in this case, boomerang, but whatever composite image is created for them. Now for screens, we do have uh, PSDs that are ready to use. You can click here and uh, download those, um, depending on which mode you're in. If you're uh, simulating uh, landscape or if you're in portrait, it'll uh, give you the appropriate one. And that is um, the high-level quick look at... Um, how you can create an event in um, Moby Booth. And the last thing we'd want to show you is that um, when you are ready to use it, you can click publish event. It will show up in the app even when it's not published and will auto publish when between 15 and 20 sessions, it's a random number, has been uh, performed in the soft, er, inside of the app, it'll automatically publish the event for you. That way in case you forget why you're at the event, It'll just go ahead and auto-publish and um, all your metrics will turn on, all the shares and everything will start working and no watermarks will be generated. Um, again, thanks for watching and uh, we hope you're enjoying Moby Booth Cloud. <laughs>